Hello everyone, welcome to Code in Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. Today's our class is about polymorphism, which is a object oriented programming concept in Java. It's a one of very important topics in our previous classes uh, or tutorial we have seen the inheritance, uh, we have seen encapsulation. This is the continuation of the object oriented programming concept in Java. So if you haven't seen my previous lecture, please uh, watch the previous tutorial so that you have a clear idea what is object-oriented programming uh, concept in Java and uh, one of the important the types of object-oriented, you know, the, or part of the object-oriented oriented programming uh, 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 components like inheritance, uh, encapsulation, and now is polymorphism. Let's see uh, what is uh, polymorphism first, okay? So first is a definition. What is polymorphism? Poly, we know it's it means uh, many. It means many, and morphism means in form. So polymorphism means means many forms, and it occurs when we have multiple classes that are related to each other by inheritance. The most common use of polymorphism in OOPS concept when a parent class reference is used to refer to a child class object. So here is a few uh, key point. Uh, it's a uh, it's a relationship between many classes following inheritance concept. So you have to know the what is inheritance. So please again, if you, if you haven't seen my tutorial about the inheritance, please. Uh, check uh, 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 my previous tutorial about the inheritance then you will understand it. okay so it will be two classes and one class will be parent and another class will be child so you can see here is an example web driver is in class and also there is another class is called chrome driver web driver is an interface class and chrome driver is a, another class so when you create a, an object of a class, say uh, Chrome driver, I we use the new keyword then Chrome driver, and you equals to you put in a variable like a driver, and then you know uh, on the left on the left side example you just you write a driver as a variable and its return type is web driver. So all together we can say driver, the driver variable, this is a variable for web driver and also this is an object reference variable for Chrome driver object because driver is, uh, a, is pointing to a Chrome driver class which is the Chrome driver object. So driver, it has a very dynamic role. It has knowledge about the web driver interface as well as it has knowledge about the Chrome driver object. So that's why you can see the the last part. You can you can tell uh, the uh, you can tell over here. Uh, you can tell over here. So this driver object is a driver is a variable of web driver, which is the parent parent class. This web driver is a parent class. So parent class drive variable is working as a object reference as a as a reference to child class object. Okay, so this is that. That's the way it's going to relation uh, relationship established. So you can see here, the class most common of the polymorphism in OOPS. So when a parent class reference, parent class reference is driver is used to refer. So this is uh, referring to a child class object, which is new Chrome driver. So this is one of the pure example, a perfect example that a web driver driver equals a new Chrome driver. And when you say many forms, uh, so you can you can make a same type of relationship with other objects. Say, yeah, you can say uh, how about Firefox driver. So there is a uh, you know class uh, in a Selenium. Uh, you can create an object of uh, that class of that of that uh, which is a uh, Firefox driver. So you can say. Uh, web driver driver equals a new Firefox driver. Similarly, Internet Explorer driver. So web driver driver equals a new Internet Explorer driver or Chrome driver or or sorry or Opera driver. So this parent can have a relationship with many other child like Chrome driver, Firefox driver, Opera driver, uh, and following the same concept, following the same like parent drivers parent uh, classes uh, in a variable which is a driver will also uh, point to the uh, child class object okay if this condition is fulfilled and a relationship established between two class you can say this is a polymorphism and uh, 
and also you know so we know uh, if you know the selenium you know then selenium uh, in its in a selenium uh, web driver is an interface and Chrome driver is a class in a, uh, the interesting part is that both classes have a, some common method like click method send kiss method get titles method close methods there's all the methods available in web driver is also available in Chrome driver uh, the difference is since web driver is an interface so it means all the method inside the web driver the body definition is empty like the click method send kiss all those body definition inside this uh, web driver interface are empty whereas the chrome driver have the same methods and including the you know the body definition it means the execution of those uh, drivers the code is available in chrome driver class so how this driver all this method the click send kiss get title close you know uh, get url all those methods how this method is going to be executed it's explained in chrome driver class similarly if you use instead of chrome driver like firefox as firefox have the same all the methods and the including the body definition the reason why the web driver we use as an interface as a parent class because this is those are the methods like click send kiss get tell those are the methods uh, uh, mo methods as uh, created as a design point of view so that you know the execution if execution uh, you know changes because you know for the chrome firefox even it's a uh, uh, even though the clicks methods and kiss methods get titles method do the same job but the execution is the difference because those chrome uh, 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 browser firefox browsers technology is the difference so behind the scene all the browser they have their own technology and 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 it works as per their own coding system right so so that's why you know uh, they we use the web driver as an interface and we didn't fix we keep the body definition for those method as an empty so that you know we can change we can create our uh, all those methods execution depends on the the you know that the, the child class we're going to use if it's a chrome driver is execution will be different even though we'll do the same job okay so this is the relish that's why the web driver interface we use as a parent class as well as you know the other uh, classes we use as a child class okay so so all these methods in web driver interface are without body definition as I said and the implementation depends on Chrome driver or child a child you know child classes using overriding process overriding process so we'll see what is overriding process now based on that you know it's uh, like how those you know click send kiss method is empty over here how it's executed uh, the same method in the execution is uh, it's explained in chrome driver how they get uh, you know execution those things execute you know uh, executed it's a uh, it's a uh, there is a process in polymorphism it's called over uh, overriding you know follow that process and gets executed okay so based you know based on this uh, process of the uh, the polymorphism are two types one type it's number one is compile time or overloading another one run time or overriding okay so let's see yeah let's see at an example about the overloading what is overloading overloading or compile time in the same class when you have a multiple method with the same name but different parameter parameters or signature is called overloading it means there is a one you will you need a one class to you know to create a, an overloading concept or apply overloading concept you will have a one class will have a multiple method at least two methods and, and both the methods name will be the same return type would be the same everything will be same except the parameter or signature that time you know we can uh, we can use the overloading concept okay let's see uh, an example in Eclipse okay here is an 
you know uh, Eclipse uh, I'm not gonna write the code it's already there it's just I'm going to explain it's very simple concept so I have a class is called overloading example and here I have a method is called public by do logging method it has a two parameter you can see username and password both are a string so inside the method my body it just I'm printing this to variable like username password you can see here and then I have the same another method it's the same name as I said it have to be both method have name have to be same everything you can see the return type is same and also your access modifier also same but the parameter would be different it means you can see here the first second method the parameter is different I have a two variable mobile num and password so the two different parameter and also uh, the mobile num the return type is integer and and my body is I'm just printing this to variable so whatever the value will be for this to variable you know it will be print so here is my main method and inside my main method I create an object of, of my overloading class so this object new overloading put in a variable it's obg and return type is the same class name and then I use the object reference obg dot I call the method so I have only two method it's the same name so I call the you know use the name do login so now I pass over here I pass uh, when I call do login you know both method is the same but both method have a some argument expecting like there is a parameter so I have to pass the argument actual value so what value if I pass over here number then string I mean integer and number it will call this method this one the second one because the second one have a parameter which uh, one is integer and another one is string if I call over here both is string the first the argument is a string and a string it will call the first method because it has the the parameter both are string okay so let's uh, uh, run it I can show you you see it's uh, it's called this method it means it is called this one and it's passed that one two three four and also this uh, string uh, for the mobile num and also password variable and also it's come over here same and it's printed over here if I change here say I pass over here some string uh, say sorry full okay and let's save it and you can see it will call the first one see it's it's called the first one because first one have a both variables are a string so it's uh, by this it's called the first one so here you know the the method will call it depends on the the argument I'm going to pass so if I pass this uh, both string this method will be overload on this method so first one will be overload on the first uh, second one so it's the first one will get the priority on the second one okay if I change here the argument uh, you know integer and and a string it, it will call the second one the priority will be second one so second one will be loaded on the top of the first one so that's the call overloading example this is the very uh, you know perfect overloading example I hope you understand that so let's get back to our uh, example here so we have seen the example uh, about the overloading so let's see what is overriding overriding it occurs in different classes by inheritance with the same methods name as well as same signature but the implementation will be different in child class it means it means you know there will be it will happen to uh, uh, you know sh uh, apply the overriding concept or we can use the overriding concept when we'll have a two different class and and a two different methods in two different classes but the methods name would be the same parameter would be the same but body definition will be different okay so it's, it will happen you need a two different class but then uh, method name would be the same parameter everything would be the same except the body definition that time we can you know implement we can use the overriding so body definition will be changed that's the only different part but it will have to be happen in two different classes and except that your method name parameter return type everything would be the same okay let's see an example in over here 
in our Eclipse. In our Eclipse, you can see I create a class. I create a class. It's called Reserve Bank. Okay, and then it has a. I create another method inside this without a main method. It has a, uh, one method. It's called Get Home Loan, and I have a return is 8.5. So that's why it's return type is double. So I have another method. It's called HSB. Uh, sorry, I have another class. It's called HSBC class. Let's since it's that it will follow overriding will uh, follow the inheritance concept so I have to so uh, you know establish a relationship between two classes as a parent child so I create another class is HSBC let's create the real establish the relationship with the reserve bank I will create reserve bank as a parent so that time HSBC is a child to make HSBC child I will use ste and just extends keyword following inheritance concept and then the parent class name so my parent class name is uh, a reserve bank right so now HSBC child and reserve bank is parent so if you haven't seen the inheritance uh, tutorial please watch the tutorial it will you will uh, have the clear idea how we can make a relationship between two class using the extend keyword one as a child another one as a parent anyways so here I have a main method and I said it's now it's a two different class one is HSBC another one reserves right so in um, uh, in uh, HSBC I will create the same type of method right as I said the both classes will have the same type of method but body definition will be different so let's copy the same type of method I will just you know change the body definition so let's uh, it means the return type I will change this to instead of 8.5 I will make it 9.5 so body definition is di uh, different now now inside my main method I will create an object of this HSBC class which is new HSBC so I'm creating an object of my uh, HSBC class my child class okay and then put in a variable it's called OBJ and then sorry let's make it a OBJ and then HSBC HSBC right this return type would be same class name now HSBC is pointing to my object which is my class so and and my HSBC class and since HSBC is a child class it has also full access uh, 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 you know it has uh, it has full rights to access any properties of reserve bank so uh, indirectly OBG have the knowledge of HSBC as well as reserve bank so let's use the OBG I'm going to say OBG o, uh, OBG dot and I will you can see this uh, there is a get a get home loan method should be here uh, get home loan where is the get home? okay get home loan this is the get home loan method okay so let's print this I call this get home loan method so get home loan method in a child class have a return is 9.8 and also my parent class have a return is 8.5 except this the body definition the the method name return type uh, access modifier all are same so I'm calling this method and I will print this so it will print the either 8.5 9.5 you have to guess the which one will be called which method will be called is that a get home loan method from the parent or method from the child okay let's see it's out see it's out and then I will put this one in a here okay object that okay right so I call get home loan method so which one will uh, will call is that a, this this method from my child or the, the get home loan from my parents if we run you will see is going to call the child one so it means your my the same method in my parents gets override by the methods same methods in my child class okay so in the methods in child class gets the higher priority the method than the uh, you know method we have in in my parent class if it's the same method name same return time everything is same just the body definition the implementation is the different that time you will get the higher priority the child one let's save it and run it I can see it 
here we go you can see the get home loan in my child class HSBC return return is 9.5 it's printed the 9.5 so that's called the overriding so you know it's so the method this one it's get override uh, you know of the, of of that other one the other one sorry other uh, the method from uh, uh from the parents got override by this method okay so i hope you understand you know so the uh, the method about you know the difference between the override and overloading okay so that's all about the, uh, the polymorphism and there's a two types so overloading and overriding i hope you understand and, and enjoy the tutorial stay tuned and watch the next video thank you you have a good one